Hi, I'm May Walter, co-founder and CTO at HUT. I've spent my career building low-level mission-critical systems that run in complex production environments, and I learned that even great teams find it difficult to understand what's actually happening after code is deployed to production. Now, we're in a new era. Co-generating LLMs are being used to ship real software, but they have no idea how that software behaves in production. They don't know which functions are fragile, which flows are overloaded, what's already failing. And when they don't know production, they break it. At HUD, we build a runtime code sensor, a pretty sophisticated piece of low-level software that's super easy to install in your service. And when it wakes up in production, it runs with your code. Unlike traditional observability products, HUD understands service level issues as well as function level issues, all without requiring any configuration or maintenance and with negligible footprint. HUD already runs on millions of services every day at many large software engineering teams, but the recent developments are allowing us to expose its data in new and exciting ways. This is how you install HUD a single init line, the API key and service name, and that's it. HUD gathers function level data and knows, for example, which function has been slowing down the most recently, or which one has the most unhandled exceptions, etc. The uniqueness of this data, where the sensor has complete function level behavior and the relationship between each function and its business context, allows this data to be used very easily by LLMs through our MCP server. Now, with HUD, LLMs can generate code with production in mind. Let's see how it works. Let's say I just learned I have a slow endpoint. I'll ask Cursor to optimize it in agentic mode without HUD's MCP. My post button in the app is slow. What's the biggest bottleneck? Fix it. You can see that it thinks for a while, goes over the code base, and then suggests some generic solutions like DB query performance and client-side caching. Now, I'll go to Cursor settings, enable HUD's MCP, and ask the exact same question all over again. This time, the first thing that happens is gathering the production context from reality. And then we can see that creating the database connection actually takes most of the time from that request. In this case, the solution will be completely different by improving the database connection pool, which is actually the reason why this thing is so slow. Now, let's look at another example. Understanding why an endpoint is failing. Delete is failing occasionally. Why? Fix it. Again, the first thing that happens is gathering the production context. And then it's easy to see that there's a type error in the delete function. HUD can lead me to the exact function in the code base that is connected to that error. And now, just like that, cursor can now fix my production issues, which is pretty cool. And the best part is that HUD's production context is integrating into every new feature you're adding to an existing system. But why listen to me? Want to give it a try? We've already made HUD's MCP available to all of our customers, but we're opening it up to anyone interested in the next few weeks. Want to get early access? Sign up at HUD.io and we'll be in touch soon.